Heads up! Oh, where? <coughs> Welcome. Where are we? Foolish mortals. What are we waiting for? This. That guy. Oh. To a wonderfully spooky time I thought I would show off today. Get that curse out here. There we go. Welcome, everyone. To a cool little gothic platformer that I showed off to these schmucks, I think I want to about say a year ago, but uh, with spooky month upon us, figure may as well be a good time to blow off the dust and uh, jump in for reals on the channel, jump into the adventure known as Pumpkin Jack. Yes. yes. <laughs> just, in time for, just in time for Halloween, which this will not be released by. No, nah, but we want to still get into the spirit of it anyway at the time we'll of this recording. We'll see what happens. Depends on how quickly Logan's going to uh, edit up all these parts once they're done. It depends on how long I get the audio. Anywho, so uh, these will be this will be done live. Uh, the game is not terribly long, but the stages can get up there a bit in length because there's only six of them. Sorry, just a quick let's put that putting that out. There's only there's only six levels. Um, no worries. But they do get a little bit long. We'll see. So, uh, with that said, why don't we learn a bit more about the folk tale of Pumpkin Jack? The Pumpkin Jack? Yeah, apparently there was an actual folk tale about Pumpkin Jack. Mm. I can explain once that once this. Oh, here we go. In great Arkansas Kingdom. Arkansas. The world is in peace and coexistence. That's nice. But now, what, what we now know as what we now know as modern day Arkansas. Even the cute little bunny rabbits. <laughs> Oh, oh, even the buns. Prosperity without anything to fear of war, famine, catastrophe. It was a perfect paradise. Very boring. Boring. So boring, in fact, that even the devil himself was bored, brainless. Man. Dreamed of bloodshed, pestilence. Why don't you get a different hobby instead of watching everybody then? So. Get a job in this economy, please. A little <laughs> the devil unleashed the curse of the eternal night. Oh, ah, uh, he took a few pages from, um, crap, I'm already forgetting the name of the villain from, um, the Oh, um, Zarek. Zarek. Yeah. Zarek. He, he took a few pages from his, uh, mortal, from his mortal cousin. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. At least I assume they're cousins. They could be. For some reason, the humans quite enjoy their safe, boring little lives. It's called oh, enduring yeah. good, sir. Pesky monsters coming in and tearing them all limb. We shall call upon our greatest master. Upon the champion. A wizard. Mighty wizard. Do, do, do. Wow. Look at him. So tiny. Certainly not as mighty as they the cracked him up today. He looks like a black mage. It does. I wouldn't be surprised if that there was that was a, a slight inspiration behind his design. Probably. Alright, he's got his your own. champion. Yep. This might be the fun I've been looking for. And I will so explain in this inspiration as soon as this cutscene is over. Sure thing. Stingy Jack. Devil crammed Jack's soul into the skin of pumpkin. And Ouch! The the devil Must smell in there. Jack's past misdeeds. It's quite seedy in there. The yep. <laughs> because as we all know, the devil's totally known for honoring his end of bargains. I mean, that's just common knowledge, isn't it? Yep. Just rocketing into the atmosphere. And he just explodes into a into an entire fireworks full of a just seeds. pumpkin pie everywhere, and the devil's like, oh. I maybe should have put a. I maybe should have put a cushion down or something. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> That's the end of the story, everybody. Good night. Ow. Wow. Hey, that could have gone better. Uh, so here, while I adjust some settings because I know some unfortunate visual tearing that I can hopefully fix on this. Uh, tell us the story of the. Uh, 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 of tell us the story of him. Oh, there's a problem. No V sync. No V sync. That oh, that explains uh, it. That's I'm not putting on ray tracing. That's that, for suckers. Yeah, no, that just won't do. Ray tracing is there. for hacks. Prove me wrong. There we go. That's much better. No more visual tear. Okay, tell us the story of Pumpkin Jack, Jordy. Yes, I will. So, Pumpkin Jack is basically an adaptation of the old Irish folklore of Stingy Jack. 
Stingy Jack is someone who has been pulling pranks on people for as long as he can live and has been getting drunk off of God knows how, what. And basically, you know, he's just a con artist. And the devil's noticed this, and when his time comes to, you know, kick the bucket, he refuses to go. So he makes a bargain with the devil, maybe three or four times, God knows how much, to, uh, you know, let him live for all eternity as long as he doesn't do his misdeeds. Which he accepts every time, but he doesn't hold up his end. Of so, as punishment, his soul is now turned into a pumpkin, and that's how we got the jack-o'-lantern today. And if that oh. story sounds familiar to you Billy and Mandy fans, that's the same exact story that was derived for jack-o'-lantern. Oh. I had a feeling it was. Awesome. I, de I, I could definitely see that. And uh, and as and the reason why, because uh, a quick thing, there will be some dialogue, and the reason why, uh, that, I just remember the other reason why we thought uh, Hype would be suitable to voice uh, the jack man was that because uh for now the pumpkin is what is actually living in his spirit he's right now borrowing the body of a scarecrow oh yeah he is a scarecrow isn't he for now anyway so he is let's get along with our journey for a little bit before we uh... sticks and stones may break my bones but my sticks are but my stones are my <laughs> my bones are literally made out of sticks that'll do yeah Oop. anyway so, it's, for now, it's traditional platforming affair. You can grab onto walls. There'll be full dialogue to cover later. Uh, here we go. Speaking of which. <laughs> Look who bothered to show up. I trust you haven't already lost your brain in that gourd. Grown men have died for less than that bird. Tardy and insubordinate. Not an amazing first impression, Jack. Who are you? And how do you know my name? I am a servant of the devil, and I'm here to monitor your work. The devil hasn't forgotten your penchant for trickery, Jack. He doesn't trust you. Just don't slow me down. I haven't forgotten how to roast a chicken. <laughs> Just remember who gave you that fancy new body. Speaking of which, let's begin your orientation. Orientation? What kind of fool do you take me for? The kind who spent centuries in corporalis. Now stop dawdling, it's time you get acquainted with your new form. At I first mean, I thought okay, he said is... stop drawing. <laughs> stop you drawing on the <laughs> It's very insulting. Damn, I wanted to draw this month. <laughs> no, my artistic abilities! I'm giving you a <laughs> mustache, you can't do anything about it. Wait, what about mustache? So, anything but the mustache. Yeah, you're fine. So, uh, as we, so uh, may as well get, that, get this out of the way right now. This game uh, will eventually start wearing its medieval inspirations quite blatantly on its sleeves. You mean uh, has already? I, yeah. So the cauldrons are where you get health. These crow skulls, there are 20 of them in each level or so. You can actually get some fun little goodies with them. Uh, but as fe essentially as what we're trying to do here... Uh, yeah, no, there's no fool in us this time. There's no, like, oh, but maybe we'll team up against the devil once we find out that he's really bad. No, we are the villain. We want to take over the world. Can yes, I just ask, yes, just, we do. just going back to the healing pots, uh, just to, like, see how it differs from medieval, are these finite, or can you technically get as much as you can? Oh, as often as you can. I mean, from, what, move. from what, I de what I still remember of Blood and playing this game a while back, I want to say it's at least a bit more generous in the difficulty department than the original Medieval. Oh, yeah, no. I mean, because A, you don't have to worry about health too much, and uh, the, 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 the weapon system will also be very nice. Uh, we'll talk to this person, then I'll get along with other, gain other people, because I want to hear what other people have to say. Sorry. Uh, not bad so far, Jack. You're shaking off those cobwebs well. It does feel good to have my own body again. Arms, legs, everything. You really put them to the test from here. There will be monsters ahead. You shouldn't have any trouble fighting them off. Well, I've never been one to turn down a chance to bash some heads in. But why should? But why would they attack me? Has nobody told them I'm on their side? They can't be told anything, Jack. Monsters are mostly mindless meek... Ma <laughs> maximum... Oh, but sorry. <laughs> monsters are mostly mindless miscreants. <laughs> maximum... <laughs> Anyway, they can barely tell each other apart, let alone something like you. Pumpkin or not, you're still human. That alone makes you their target. Do I look human to you? So yes. that's why the devil needs me. He needs someone who can think like a man. 
This new enemy is clever, Jack. He needs someone just as indisposed but clever. I see. And he doesn't mind that I'm cutting down his monsters? <laughs> They're practically worthless. Do what you must. Just get the job done. So, yeah, we'll be interested in combat. And logs. Lots of nah, logs. never mind. <laughs> He's just, Fancy. I'm out of here. Sometimes the best way to win the fight is to walk around and move on. Even if it's less fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's got a point. If the world, if the world's just that much more open to you, then I'd say stick with the, stick with whatever is more convenient. Uh, uh. Yep. So, uh, as we move Sorry, forward, the last thing you want to do is lose your head over it. Yeah. Uh, before I move forward, because I believe there's a cutscene to meet a new character up ahead. Uh, Sammy, Doug, uh, what what festivities, what games are you guys playing to get into the spooky month season? That's a great question. I need to think on oh. my side of what games I want to play. Fair enough. Uh, Sammy, how about you? Do you take fun time and merriment in the monstrous month of Spooktober? She's deafened. She deafened. Oh. <laughs> well, don't leave me hanging. <laughs> that angle, I swear. Okay, well, fine. We'll just meet and we'll just talk. Yeah, we'll be we here. Let's move on. Hey, there's one, James. I don't care. Ah! It's back! It's back! Flap away, everyone! Flap away for your lives! Choose carefully on the voice you give yeah, this crow, you, James, because he's going to be with us like, for the entire game. Make him sound like Patton Oswalt. <laughs> oh, right, because of freaking, uh, uh, freaking, what was yeah, that? Yeah, because he voices a raven. Yeah, because he voices Sandman. the raven in Sandman. And if you want a reference of who you're talking about, James, uh, Ratatouille. Yeah. It's not too bad, you'll be mm. fine. Oh, great, more birds. Let me through before I pluck you raw. Stay away from us, Scarecrow! I got claws and I can use them! That's better. Just I just didn't want to... Because, yeah, this guy's going to be talking a lot. I don't want you... I, 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 I worry about your throat. Me? A common Scarecrow? I'm Jack, the greatest rogue to ever live. Wait! He's got legs? The Scarecrow doesn't have legs! And his head isn't stuffed with straw! See? I'm no Scarecrow. Now let me through, you corvid creeps. Not so fast! It seems the birds have the upper hand for once! We are surrounded. And arguably outnumbered. We'll let you through, Mr. Jack, if you help us in return. At the mercy of a crow. What do you want? A scarecrow often appears at the at that barn just ahead. Uh-huh. He's been terrorizing us for weeks! He's a menace to crow kind! <gasps> and I suppose you want me to get rid of him. Damn straight, son! And I'll help hey. you to boot! My <laughs> wings are swift and my beak is sharp! Oh yeah, we actually get ourselves an interesting bit of air support now. Some air support could be useful. Very well, bird. Hoo-ha! <laughs> Huzzah! Death to the straw face menace! Yahoo! Let's go! This is our crow companion who will be joining us for a good amount of the game. Basically, if there's something uh, at a distance that you would like to have a get off, get if you'd like, if there's something that you would like to have a poked at from a distance, press the left bumper, and he'll just Ow! ram the thing. Uh, literally be first. You know, if there's I can... also a few oh. secrets I can find throughout the levels, Ooh. such as the gramophone. Time for dancing. Cause you know it's Halloween. No, it's it's the spe season of Halloween. Nothing nothing quite like a dance off, a random dance off somewhere in the middle. Why not? I Every mean, if time the, if the skeletons can do, these... why can't Jack? Yeah, it, it's a little <laughs> thing that happens, uh, and beyond that, it's just it's just a little thing. It's just a little achievement for brownie points of yay! I got the thing. All right. I never feel so, so uh, violated. Sorry, there's going to be at least one per level, so get used to it. Yeah. Let's keep moving. I will say, like, before, like, the more I think about it, like, did Jordan, you said the whole thing with Stingy Jack. Did you say it was based on Irish folklore? Yeah, it's an Irish folklore. I feel like by that aspect, I should be giving this guy an Irish accent, but I'm not good with those. It's really okay. No, I'm, really I'm fine with the it. voice that you're giving him right now. You're only fine with fine, it because yeah. it's your boy's voice. Well... We need something to whack, so let's take ourselves our grand weapon. I'd be faking me, Gora. <laughs> oh my god. 
Actually, yeah. you know what? Speaking of my boy, so back when this game was still in beta, I actually joined the official uh, Pumpkin Jack Discord group. Oh, really? And I drew a picture of Hector meeting Pumpkin Jack, looking at him suspiciously because he's like, you're a pumpkin Ooh. named Jack. Mm, I don't know how I feel yeah. about you, boy. And like, <laughs> what do they think? They thought it was pretty cool. And uh, what do you call it? They, the dev himself said that uh, it's, uh, I don't know if I'd call it canon, but basically uh, they said, okay, they're like second cousins now. <laughs> Aww. Huh? So what you're saying is, like... is that this game is TOA canon. Uh, semi. I'll just say semi. I just think it's. I just think it's a cute little like. I, I just think. It's, oh, by the way, this is what we want our crow skulls for. Ah, yes. You yes. want to be him, shocking. Doug? Yeah, go ahead, Doug. Let me see this. Okay. Wait, wait! Don't hurt me. Eh, you can talk. Yes, I'm not here to hurt you, sir. Oh, well, that's nice. Are you sure? You look like a monster to me. Run, half dead, soulless. Of course, I'm a salesman. Oh, <laughs> the belt. that explains it. Oh. oh. <laughs> well, now, I just want to kill you anyway. <laughs> no, 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 stop. At least browse my wheels first. What are you selling? Skins. I've harvested the skins of interesting dead people for other people to wear. Close to who? Yeah. Oh. Get it? Oh, right. That's not ethically weird or anything. Well, I won't kill you, but I want a discount. <laughs> like you're a shining example of ethics, Mr. Jack. Hmm. Hmm. By all means. Please take a look. So you can find it. So this is the skin salesman, uh, which we can find all sorts of uh, fun little Perfect. costumes to wear throughout our journeys. Of course, they had to do that at least once. Uh, the buzzer, which is cool. That's if you get every. I want to say that's get if you get. Uh, there, there will be enough. You do need to find every piece of these uh, crow skulls to find them all. So for now, uh, let's get silly with it. He looks hey. good in red. And now a lumber. I'm a good in a suit. <laughs> you look amazing, sir. If I can, if I can afford them, I'll buy them. Ah, oh, he looks dapper. So, um, you know what plan basically, don't look that bad on me. You can buy, so you can find skins uh, in two places, either by finding this dude in each level in a certain hiding spot, or just by doing it from the main menu. But uh, it was cute that they gave the effort. Um, okay, we're fine. We don't need more monster essence. Break that thing. So. Uh, while we're moving through all these levels, uh, first of all, don't worry, there'll be plenty more characters to voice. Uh, th th they do actually have a wonderful, fun little, little silly cast here. Uh, I did not follow, so there was, so this was a Kickstarter, this game, Jordy? Uh, yes, there was. Um, well, actually, was there a Kickstarter? I actually made it out of Patreon. Or, 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 or was it like, because you mentioned early access or something. I think it was how, in how beta. This, how I think you... it was in beta. Okay, because I was going to say, how about this? How did you hear about this game? I think I saw it through a voice actor that I followed on Twitter named Reese Bridgers. I think that's uh -huh. his last name. Uh, if you're watching this, sir, I do apologize if I mispronounced your name wrong. You can say in the comments if I did. But uh, basically, he did the writing for the dialogue what? for this game, and he had a blast oh. with it. Oh, that's cool. That's good. Yeah. Uh, so I guess was he the actor from the very beginning doing the narration, or was he the guy doing like the banjo kazooie esque voices over this dialogue? I think he just did the writing. I don't think he did any of the voiceovers for this. Okay, fair enough. But I haven't looked in the credits, so I'm not 100 percent sure. I'll have to double check, cause, cause I mean I know for a fact there was the guy the the guy doing the narration at the beginning. But mm -hmm. I'm not sure who does the voice for like all the grunts and all the dialogue and stuff. You know, what? For, I think I'll uh, real quick. Okay. Let me just. Uh... Well, I'd say we're off to a pretty decent start. We've already found more than half of all those uh, pockets that we use for currency. Yeah. I remember where they are yeah. in the first level, but they will start to become more deviously like hidden in the sec in the in the levels to come. But uh, for now, as you're seeing, these levels can be. 
pretty wide, but I, I gotta give credit. Like, I love the design of all this so far. I mean, yeah, no, for an indie project, um, it's definitely, uh, it definitely knows what it, it definitely knew what it was doing. The only thing I'll yeah, say I'm is that... Yeah, the design so far. You're right. Oh, yeah, no, definitely. The only thing I'll say as, like, a downer at the moment is that, um, die, is that uh, the combat can feel a little bit floaty, uh, but that will be fixed as we start getting more weapons. Like, I'll say right now, th this shovel is uh, as our base our base weapon. As soon as I get a better weapon, I'm not going to be using it all that much. Uh, once it's almost I like you're fighting, fighting with a goddamn shovel. Yeah, I gotta find a better weapon. Hey, this thing can still kill more than you can. Perhaps your new body isn't needed here. But hop out for a minute and look inside. Hop out of my body? Of course, your new body's just a shell. You can always use your head. <laughs> Wait, you mean he can get out of that thing? Ugh, that's disgusting. Cram it, bird. Hop to it, Jack. Drop your body and head inside. Ooh, I hate this guy already. So, <laughs> permission to pack him, sir. So whenever you see, <laughs> wish we had it. Uh, target locked. Anyway, whenever you see this, uh, it's not just a. This is not just a tribute piece to medieval one, don't you know? Two. But a tribute piece to medieval two as well. Oh, okay. Get in there. And two. Complete with the tendrils. Yeah, I feel shorter for some reason. Well, in the case of medieval two, it was just like a hand that he put his head on. True. Here yeah. it's here it's literal like uh, ten, like root, like tentacles. Yeah, like the the yeah. vine roots. Exactly. Let's move these around. Straight from the gourd. Yeah, that should do it. Well, yeah. actually, no, not exactly the gourd. Our gourd's up top. Oh yeah, makes sense. You know, since we're just talking about like medieval stuff, I am kind of curious. Like, um, I'll spare Jordan because I think we already know how extent uh, we already know how much medieval impacted her in many ways. Um, no yeah. kidding. No freaking kidding. All it took yeah. was just seeing one enemy type, and that pretty much spawned an entire freaking uh, story between you two. Yeah. Yep. So, yeah, oh gosh, yeah, wow. Well, to to so, think, yeah, that actually where it all began. So anyway, um, Doug, have you ever played either of the uh, medieval games or even either of the remakes of the first game? Also, welcome back, Sammy. Oh yes, welcome, welcome back. back, Sammy. Welcome back. Yeah, I. Open sesame. Uh, I... Hmm. Open sesame. I haven't fully seen the remake, but I have seen uh, a few playthroughs on both of the games uh, a few couple of years ago. All right. Okay. Uh, do you think any of them... I did like them. Oh, that's nice. I will be the skeleton to fucking, uh... Yes. Yeah, like, the, yes. the yes. one that died that at the not first talk. charge. <laughs> oh. first, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> charge! Ow. I, d I could see I could see you enjoying medieval. The problem is that who knows? Maybe in this maybe in this current string of Sony porting things to PC, maybe they'll port medieval to it next. I mean, that would be interesting. That'd be nice. We'll be up. We'll just have to see. What? Actually, no. I'm just thinking like just the whole die the first charge thing. Like now, I'm just thinking like like the the stoic battle of Galamir. Like uh, Daniel is like at the front. <laughs> That's literally what happened. That is exactly, That's exactly what happened. <laughs> and but the dude, was, th the dude was only a storyteller before he actually got thrusted into the front lines. Right. The only reason he did yeah. get thrust into the front lines is because he was just really good friends with the king. Well, that and he was also, because of all those all those tall tales, gave him inspiration to literally make that a reality. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, sorry, I didn't, I didn't mean to say stop as in like stop, I just meant it's just like stop reminding me about the Medieval 3 comic. What? Oh yeah, that whole thing. It, it, to be fair, I, I barely count. I, I don't think that's, I don't, I don't think that's considered canon. I thought the original guy worked on it, or was that just another? Fun it was. It was just something they were making to coincide with the remake. And not as, as far as I'm concerned, it doesn't really tie in anything. Well, okay, it, uh, it tries to tie in tie in with the. It may as well be glorified fan fan fiction for all I care. I know they tried to make it a continuation of the second one, but yeah, because of the the mum the mummy the the the, the, the mummy like character was uh, brought in for that, and. Yeah. I, your thoughts on how they handled Tiny Tim aside? It was just a, it was just there. Okay. Or excuse um, me, not Tiny Tim, Candy Tim. No, nah, it's keep, fine. Um, I guess uh, now that you're back, Sam, um, from what you've been able to gauge of this game so far, or what you think of Pumpkin Jack? From what all you're seeing. 
Honestly, again, I was a little out, so I uh, didn't see everything. Sorry, don't have an opinion. Well, I just meant, I just meant like of what I just meant like of what you have seen. Uh, I still don't really have an opinion. Sorry. No worries. No worries. Okay. There's gonna be some fun stuff. Up, there's gonna be fun, some some fun stuff ahead. I mean, it's so it's a bunch of candles, and I'm a super flammable scarecrow body. What's the worst that could happen? No Let's worries, say. Sammy. Sammy would be right back. So for now, something let's jump into should, Something tells me she should have took five before we started, considering it's been pretty busy for her. It's okay. Anyway, uh, you know what? I, you need some magic. You need some magic in your life, Jack. Why don't you uh, get some fairies, have them light your soul on fire, and then you won't have to feel the pain. You just got to avoid water instead of flames. Yeah. Oh, wait, flames. That reminds me. Oh, do you smell smoke? Oh. We gotta get the flap out of here, Jack! Oh, like getting out of here, Jack. Oh, time to move. Run, Jack! The barn is collapsing! Yeah, uh, that the whole thing about you wanting Jack to burden Jordan, if Logan's not quick enough, he just might do that. Who designed the barn this big? I didn't Me. say I wanted him to burn. I said get some... Uh. Wow, okay, never mind. <laughs> you know, I'm yeah, yeah, that yeah, was yeah, what yeah. I was asking. This is a lot. This is a waste of a lot of good lumber. In context. It's fine. It's all good. Run, One second. It I'll be right back. Okay. All right. All right. Everyone's gotta get out, or else we'll be burnt. I wish I could slide a ton. We'll like literally this. turn into pumpkin soup. I don't want none of that. I just want. I just want a nice, Honestly. fun Halloween get together with the mates. Honestly, at this point, we might turn into pumpkin flambe. Yeah. Yeah, we should have been melting by now. Is this even? Oh, that is a big wall of fire. Holy okay. crap! Continuing then. Continuing. I was like, is there anything actually drive me to go forward? Yes, there is. Move. Literally, a an entire wall, firewall coming in your direction. Oh. I love that no. whole thing. It's like, okay. what's moving? Me? God. Oh, that's right, death. Well, I thought it was just gonna be like, oh, like, is there even any reason to rush? But no, wow, it was just a full-on barn fire. Just woof. Well, that's another. Woo. That's another day in my life. But that's right, the Scarecrow. So, that's not, oh, so, I yeah. guess that, so I guess that's nothing to note is, the levels are short, but I want to say every one of them has some sort of boss at the end. I wouldn't be surprised. Alright then, let's hop to it. Out of the way, you crows. Yeah. Hey, those are my those are my sisters, you jerk! I don't care. Actually, wait. Oh, that's my sister-in-law. Do it again. <laughs> yeah. There we go. All the way. Nice. I'm not going to be that lucky in the future, though, because they're going to get harder and harder. Are you going to go for all the... Oh, speak of the... Oh, hey, there's the Scarecrow. There it is. Who goes there? Show yourself. Oh, there he is! Ah, he's just as messy as always! I'll say. Don't be so craven. It's just a bog-standard Scarecrow. Did he see me? Oh, please don't tell me he didn't see me. Well, look who's here. Back for more fun, little birdie. Ah! He saw me! Flee! 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 Stop wearing yourself. Seriously, don't. Do you around my head. That wouldn't really feel all comfy. As Never. for you, it's time you hopped away. <laughs> I heard you were skulking around here, Jack. We timid monsters not cutting it for the old man. Hmm. I have my own business, Scarecrow. If you don't get out of my way, I don't mind turning you into kindling. Welcome back, Jordy. Hey, Jordy. Oh, yes, thank you. The devil has the gall to send some wayward soul to do our jobs for us. <laughs> well, we'll show him all your humans are good for living or dead. I did not read that hmm. correctly. No worries. I'll bury you again, you wretch. Boss time. Whoa. Whoa. Jeez. Whoa. He can Honestly, fly. I don't remember this boss. Yeah, I mean, because it's at the very beginning. The, the the game starts off with the head shockwaves. Okay. You made your point very well. Oh, oh, where'd he go? What? Well, it's funny seeing someone that's kind of his match. <laughs> Finally, we can be the weapon of destruction. Okay, fly up. Oh, jeez. Dodge the spines. Poke you with the bird. You know, you think he'd try to weaponize that hatchet that's stuck on him. You try to reach. You try to reach something that's just in that spot. You can't quite itch. <laughs> well, if he if he's having no trouble flying and throwing fireballs, I don't think reaching up to pull that off his head would be quite as strenuous. 
you underestimate just how hard hard some places are to reach, even with even if you can fly. That's fair. Oh, he's dead. Oh, well, there you go. See it. Oh. Wow, that was kind of anticlimactic. The Cooper. The Sly King. Cooper. I was about to say it looks exactly <laughs> like the Cooper King. <laughs> but yeah, it's a sight. Hooray! Ooh. Now we truly can be the Jack of Billy Mandy legend. Yes. Speaking of which. I found it! You found it? Oh, the picture she mentioned earlier. Oh, cool. I'll put it up here in the corner. Okay. I almost forgot that he met pupils at first. And yeah. I don't know, I thought he looked kind of cool change. without the pupils. But there must be no more time for fun and games. This is fun. <laughs> Jack now perfectly attuned to his new vessel. The owl leads him to the mountains in the distance. We're at the heart of the mountains, through a network of ancient mines. Mines yeah. a powerful secret. Ah. Well, why don't we stop by and see if we can't lift the sucker? I don't mind borrowing a secret or two. Do, 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 do. So, and with a new weapon, we get ourselves a, a new means of uh, combat. The... <laughs> I guess it's more of a spear, actually, but yeah, it basically... Or a lance. Ex a lance. It excels in range combat. So, hey, may, may, may save my butt a few more times. Also, if you like poking things, this is the weapon for you. Poke. 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 Touch. <laughs> Here we are, not a second behind schedule. What is this place? These old mines are brimming with power. It's the devil's belief that deep in these tunnels lies the key to our enemy's plot. So we're here to take it first and get the drop on whoever's looking for it, too? Ah, this place gives me the willies! Remind me why I'm still here again? Because you're still useful to me, and I'll pummel you if you even try to flap off. <laughs> oh, this old mine equipment is rusted to bits, but these tunnels are solid. Hop to a jack. Anywho, welcome back, Sammy. How you doing? Doing good. It's good. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. And if you don't mind, I wanted to go back to what we were trying to conversate about yes. earlier. Um, so recently you saw Hocus Pocus 2. Yes. Uh, you want to talk about your thoughts on it? Why would I want to speak on the horrors that I saw? <laughs> no. Aww. No, we just want <laughs> well, we'll you to talk. Because, you know, we, we feel bad that we haven't given you a chance to. That we are kind of on a lull from uh, where we're at now to our next destination. A right, so an extra the, tangent or two wouldn't hurt. Yeah, no, we got some time as I go forward to this. Uh, so, uh, I mean, okay, was it as bad as you thought it was going to be? I wouldn't say it's awful, question mark, but it's not great either. There are some errors in the continuity and all that that do, that are extremely frustrating, to say the least. Like, that's the best way I could describe it. I could... Okay, so it's like the. Do you think it's like the writers didn't fully re did do their research when they were making the sequel? I, yes. <laughs> that, oh, yeah, man. that's that, that's kind of, like okay. So like, I didn't even notice this the first time until Doug actually pointed it out to me. There was like a mo a moment like where um, I guess Billy's grave was moved. Actually. Oh. It was. Yeah, it, it was moved. And also, the witches can't walk on hollow ground. Like, that's a rule that was in the first movie, and they're walking all over it in the second one, and it's like, oh, alright. We have special cleats on this time, dear. <laughs> that doesn't- that's, no that's no fucking- That's no fucking excuse. That's no fucking excuse. It's, <laughs> it's, al be, it's yeah. also the fact- It's also the fact that they moved his grave, but in the first movie, the witches died in front of his grave. Right. Like, what was the moral point of moving his grave if they come back at the exact same place? Oh. So I see what you're like, saying. that's like, an error. So they changed something that, like, it, it didn't add anything onto it. It didn't add, yeah. Huh. Hmm. Yeah, and then there was, like, something that, that I also, like, noticed. And I know that, Steve, you wanted to give the whole thing of, well, maybe they're just senile, but I... They remembered other things in the movie that like f was from the previous time so i doubt that well i, but... I wasn't saying senile is like a genuine defense i was just saying it more as a joke ah so uh, selective memory i suppose but even then i don't think so like okay anyway so maybe... actually before we go oh. deeper into that tangent uh we got 
Uh, the L has something he wants to say to us. As, as soon as I do this dialogue, we can continue, my bad. Uh, I'll be ready for some cardio, Jack. You'll have to blow those rocks away with this. Okay, sorry, What's that's, that? Now, now, you're, now, you're, now you're good. Oh, your head. Okay. Okay. Here we go. So, <laughs> so, like, in the first movie, they established that, like, they already knew they were getting dressed up as and all that kind of stuff. Like, they were like, oh, right. okay, they're just dressing up as us because they admire our mythology and all that kind of shit. But, like, uh -huh. in this, in this, um, in the second one, they completely forget that and do the same shit all over again, and love being like, why do they dress like us? And it's like, wait, we did this before, what? Oh, so they started to reuse the same jaw, oh, that's not... I'm not saying it's bad, but it, like, you don't want to reuse the same jokes in the sequel because, like, they're not as funny, or not as, like... It's been done before. Unless you had a new spin to, yeah. unless you had a, pro a, a proper new spin to it, it, uh, it yeah. honestly just it seems redundant. They didn't, really. They just kind of were... Well, and also, like, I, I hate saying it. I'm sure the actresses are fine and other things, but they they were not... I could not get with, like, the protagonist in this story, like, whatsoever. Oh. They're, they were petty as hell. Oh, dang. So, at that point... Whoa! Ew. That's a lot of vomit. I to say it, not spray. It went the so way of the exorcist. So... Uh, okay, so I guess I'm curious. Did you or Doug, uh, in preparation for the sequel, recently watch the first Hocus Pocus again? N no, I didn't. I remember the first one by heart. I do, oh, yeah. No, was that, I oh, was remember. that like a big, like. Sorry. Yeah. Whenever Hocus Pocus comes along in every Halloween, I watch it on Halloween every year. Ah, um, so, 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 so it's a rite of passage. Yeah. You know what? Exactly. Then, yeah, I, I, think, I think this, you know what? Okay. I don't know if I'll watch the second one, but I will admit. I have not watched Hocus Pocus like in a long time. Do Me it. neither. Uh, the most I immediately remember of it is I'll... that they made such a big deal that the protagonist was a virgin. Yeah, that was <laughs> right. something or spell else. Or something. Well, like I know there was a context behind that in the story, wasn't there? Well, there yes, was. but they kind of overdid it. Yeah. What's up? No, 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 Jack. I mean, I, I know say... what you're thinking. See, I can't say that the virgin thing was done any better in the second one, really much either. It's it's subtly there, but oh, still. I did it again. Oh, anyway, okay. what are you thinking? Fair enough. Fair enough. Oh, I could use this minecart to get us out of here faster. Oh, if this emo canary doesn't cram a worm in it, I'll use him for pillow stuffing. If you go anywhere in that old cart, you'll kill us all. I fail to recall where you were sh calling the shots. It'll take more than this rusty old sardine tray to do me in. This ma this mal malfeasance malfeasance is going in your report, <laughs> Jack. You madman. Well, let's go. <laughs> okay, I'm Birdie, and I'm go, okay. go back to the dream world. You need a nap. Yeah, it, it's it's a micro, okay. right? Make sure to lean with the turn so you don't go flying. Uh, anyway. Uh, you yeah, know, I, I was gonna say, I was gonna say, you know what? I say that we, uh, don't forget to use your crow to take, get rid of any barricades ahead of you. Uh, sure. you know, I, I think we should, uh, me, I think we should watch Hocus Pocus. Yeah, we should. Yeah. Yeah. I be, I it's really there. good. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be against it. My okay. family hasn't I'm, seen it yet, so, uh, they're thinking of watching it. Oh, yeah, okay. I know, I, I know my sister loves it as about, almost amount of, almost as much as Doug loves it. Like, hey, you were saying, so, Sammy? So, like, there was a context of why the virgin thing was, like, said a lot. Like, I don't excuse it, but there was a reason why. Because uh -huh. the whole context is, is a virgin has to light the black flame candle, which is a right. huge plot point to bring the Sanderson sisters back. That's why they make it a huge point to repeat that several times. Well, yeah, it's like a ritual thing, so it's like, I, I, I can understand that. Yeah, and so the, it, it's one of those cases where it doesn't excuse why a whole bunch of high schoolers are making such a big deal out of that. Uh, well, they're high schoolers; they make anything a big deal. Trust me, my high school I mean, used to do that too. That, that is not wrong. wrong. That's fair. Kids are jerks. Or dumb. Uh, yeah. That being said, uh, thank you, jerks, for watching our channel. It's a good time. I don't think the adults should be making a giant deal about it, but. <laughs> that being said, <laughs> yeah. You, you make it. You make it sound like you guys are. You guys aren't anymore. Yeah, you visually point there. Fair enough. 
Yeah. In terms of our Halloween to-do list, I know that we need to watch... Oh, geez, they got crossbows now. I never uh, heard I of that know... movie. What is Oh, geez, they got crossbows now about? <laughs> I, I know no, that, I love that movie. I, I know that on our uh, that, oh, I know that on our watching list, I know that I still wanted to watch the original Ghostbusters with you guys. I still I'm have down with that. Oh yeah, absolutely. I know. I also know I have oh, yeah. the original. I also know I have the first Hotel Transylvania still, which I will still say was good. Oh, yeah, I, I loved liked it. Hotel Transylvania, the first one. Um, did we also, the first one is still good. All right. Didn't we also talk about watching the two Gremlin movies as well? I think we did. That a th oh, because you, you bring it because of how Stripes in multiverses now. Mm -hmm. Well, well, Gizmo's in multiverses watching. currently. Stripes going to be coming soon at the time of recording. Fair enough. I'm mm. not against it. I mean, I've never seen the movies myself, so I mean, I wouldn't mind getting myself thought of. Well, I'll say right now that whatever you've heard between be the two movies, them. it's a hundred percent true. Oh yeah, uh, I, I first... know the second movie's a lot goofier, and that, that there's a charm in how goofy it is. I mean, right. it starts off with a freaking skit with Bugs and Daffy as if it were animated by Chuck Jones. Of course it's going to be fucking goofy. I forgot that that had the Bugs Bunny short. Yeah, it was. Yeah. And then, of course, there's Brain Gremlin, who, from what I've seen of it, is an absolute Chad. <laughs> yep. He's, just, he's the suave. It, straight up. So just... He's Chad Brainsif of the Gremlins. He's the, the Chad the Gremlins. Sir. The city's so nice they named it twice. Check it out once, why don't you? No, no, straight up, like, they're, they're, like, towards the end, there's, I will say right now, there's a whole, I'll say, we're now in freaking tiptoe mode, which I do not care for, uh, but, uh, they have a whole thing where towards the end, he just, he just sings a cover of New York, New York, because why not? Oh, yeah, I like that yep. part. That is the, oh, that is, that is, that, is a, that, that I can say right now is probably the one defining mantra of Gremlins 2. Why not? <laughs> Sir, they, yeah, they were like, talking <laughs> about making a gargoyle gremlin and a spider gremlin. Why not? Well, Why I, not? Well, that, that is also, like, another thing that I've heard, like, whenever it comes to, like, the tone. Apparently, like, it's meant to be, like, a big satire on, like, not even a satire of the first film, just just a satire on sequels in general. Because apparently the whole film te technically takes place in a TV studio. Yes, oh, it does. Okay. Yeah, it pretty much does. Would you stop puking already? Jeez, go get some antacid. It's Man, not, I, I just even, had a bath! I would say that's actually the gross thing. I don't even think it's puking. That's coming out of its nose immediately. Okay, oh, then get get some get some Sudafed or Mucinex. I don't know. Just get it. Because, ew. <laughs> and the demon's just thinking to himself, Mucinex! Get him! Oh. And, <laughs> Mucinex and overdose is how I died! <laughs> here, Jordy and Sammy can now enjoy Like, this. Yeah, go ahead. Like, I know I need to watch... Like, I know I need to watch, like, Gremlins mm -hmm. um, myself, like, the first movie, yeah. at least. I need to watch it. Which, 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 yeah, I, I, I see, I see you over <laughs> anyway. there. With the Gremlin you. topic, I it's know. obvious that I, it's obvious that I love Gremlins, and I've seen it from my childhood, while these fellows have not seen it, and I'm like, you've disappointed me. Aww, so this is for a random dance too. number yet again. Yeah, look at this dancing man. <laughs> I'm looking. To I mean, this isn't technically this isn't technically the first thing that you've told me you need to watch, or, and I'm I holding know, you at gunpoint uh -huh. until you. Do. I know that on <laughs> I know that on first. my side of things, I don't know if you guys would join us, but I know definitely Matt's kind of like putting putting me one over. He wants to makes we might smell watch it. He we will he will make me watch it. <laughs> one of them is Howl's Moving Castle. <gasps> I, I love Howl's Moving Castle. Honestly, okay, then we'll like, definitely invite you and. Oh. Uh, should I be? The, oh, okay. Go go ahead. You, you must go no further. This place does not welcome you. Who dares turn me away? I'm Jack, mercenary of the devil himself. I am the guardian of this place and the power it contains. Heed this warning, Jack, if you do not leave willingly. You will be removed from here in a thousand pieces. Oh, he's nice. Go ahead, Jordy. I trust his uh, jig. I thought it was a woman. Oh, that's. It didn't really look feminine woman? to me. No, it's not. Th eh, there will it's be fine. there will be it female characters. There will be female characters. Don't worry. Yeah, there are going to be female characters. I think you might like Ow. one of them, Sammy. But yes, like oh. I, I do remember, I'm like sure. House Moving Castle is another one I want to <laughs> see. Like. 
I know that was something that, like, again, me and Jordan wanted to do this back when we were dating. Um, I wouldn't mind us doing it eventually, that we were wanting to marathon a bunch of the Ghibli films together. I've oh, seen yeah. Hell's Moving Castle years ago, and, and I forget I I forget which dub it was, but it's the one with Christian Bale as the main character, and my god, he did not... It's the Disney one. It's the Yeah, that, that, that one in particular, he did not... He really phoned it in. Oh, damn. Well, was there is there another did, English dub that I can but... look at? Or? I, I'm thinking that was the UK dub you're thinking of, Logan. Maybe, because... Well, cause I just it had Mike like... Wazowski as a flame. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, like, like me and Doug watched it, and I love that film. I love that film to pieces. I, I think well, you know, it's so... a good film. I think the only Ghibli film I've seen again with Jordan was a Spirited Away. I know I want to see my friend That's Totoro, awesome. and um... my neighbor Totoro. You mean not my friend? Yeah, it, it is my neighbor Totoro. But anyway, what continue. did he say? He could be your friend. Yeah. yeah, he's a neighbor and a friend. Careful. Whoa. Whoa. Doing okay, doing okay. Whoa. Easy does it there, pal. Hey, that... who shot? No you... offense, Steve, but that sounded like such a boomer thing to say. <laughs> Just like, what? what's that movie called? My friend Totoro or something like that? Oh, like, you say that as if he wouldn't be your friend. He would, he be, would your be your friend. friend. Your best he would friend. Be... He would be my friend, but again, it was... <laughs> Again, it just reminded me of how my dad does things. It's, it's a little funny. It, it amuses me Aww. in the best way. So I what know. we're talking about again, to Totoro from uh, Toy Story 3? Yeah. <laughs> Don't forget, yeah. that happened. I actually uh, forgot about that. It was a cameo, and uh, oh, that's what we going to this way. Yeah, forget to the mine cart. One stop, stop, one stop train to hell. Here we go. Uh, the other movies that I know Matt wants to show me that I, I do actually want to watch are What We Do in the Shadows. I mean, and, honestly, uh, like... Yes. And, and the Netflix series that came after it. I mean, honestly, like... Hulu. You, like, Hulu, you made that... You. I was just saying, like, you made that joke about how, like, Matt's having you at gunpoint at that. Honestly, I lost track... I lost track of the number of films that Matt's literally having us at gunpoint for him to watch with us. What other movies yeah. had... What other movies? Like, not even Halloween ones. Weren't there a couple that he wanted to really show us? That, again, I lost life? track of all of them. Ooh, oh, Book, Book of Life. life. Yeah, definitely. That, that'll well, that, be after Halloween. That one I have seen, and I do like it. Yeah, it's we'll a great one. After Halloween. We had a whole uh, tangent about what what how that movie fared compared to Coco. Right. Which I they think are both, good films. both of them, they're both good films on their own merits. I don't think one's better than the other. Yeah. No, I, no. I, I think I they agree. each do a different. I think they do. I think they each tackle it a better way. A better way. I I think Coco does a better job of. I mean, true to Disney, true to Disney, you know, standard affair. I think Coco does a better job of teaching you about how the holiday works. But I will say I do personally like the story and character and character interactions in Coco and in Book of Life more. Yeah, same. Just the just the love, love triangle and that yeah. and that whole like dynamic. Between Honestly, them all. like I feel like I really appreciate just how they handle the love triangle in a sense of like it's not really that big of a triangle. Like you know, even though they're both in love with the same girl, they still love each other like brothers. Yeah, that's great. I, yeah, they respect each other too. Oh, it's you again. Come to browse some more of my fabulous skins. Stop calling them that. Why? They're literally people's skins. Yeah. I know. It's creepy. Well, if digging up corpses and... Intricately. 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 Thank you. Peeling off the skin to sell as costumes is creepy. Then I guess I'm creepy. And if that's so wrong, I don't want to be right. <laughs> I don't want to cry. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Just buy something or go away. Please, Jeez. I don't wow, want to cry in the skin. This is the guy that peels. He loves to peel off skin, <laughs> and yet he's the one that's uh, he's the one that's getting to, that's giving us the uh, giving us the so the uh, freaking uh, pansy treatment. Yeah. Yeah. Can buy I just want oh, the money. Wait. So I I'm could. not gonna lie, so that voice is almost making me lose it as much as the one you did yet yesterday. Well, technically, we could buy the both of them. Mm -hmm. that, yeah, why not? That's, you talk about this that, one over here while I'm losing my oh shit. My yeah. <laughs> no, Ooh, not again. No. That one looks pretty good. But yeah, what about the samurai? Mind. Ooh. Hmm. It just looks bad. Does have a nice flair to it. Alrighty. All right, let's go. <laughs> Wise choice. God damn it. Hey, Steven, hmm? can you humor me for a second? Why? Can you give your best hi ya as a uh, pumpkin jack? Hi ya! 
<laughs> I just think, I just, again, I'm just still thinking of the freaking, uh, you'll never catch me, crabs. Not when I shift into maximum overdrive. Sorry, we're thinking of something stupid that just makes me laugh every time. I knew I should have gotten a turbo. I knew I shouldn't get the turbo. So, yeah. Fifth. Fifth. Annie, who is Fifth. Yes. Again, it's pretty much the shining example of what happens when audio when um, professionals in audio engineering are fucking bored. And it it just makes me laugh and giggle. <laughs> it's yeah. the same reason why I it's the same reason why I like uh like abruptly cut off screams. I just think they're just so good <laughs> for comedy. I'm an ogre. Ah, ah, ah. Uh -oh. Oh, him Heed the second warning, Jack, for there will be no third. Turn back while you still can. I have nothing to fear of you, ghost. I'm getting ding dong tired of this goddamn shit. <laughs> for your sake, Jack, I hope that's true. Hey, I'm walking over here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm walking over here. So, uh, I guess you gotta kill this guy, huh? Yeah, that's the idea, yeah. Fel that's usually fellas, what you doing? I'm walking over here. Like, I'm playing Spocket like just a free over here. I'm just walking no. over here. Doug, that hey, was glorious. What's wrong with that voice? Hey, you better Thank get up. Uh, there's other two, there's other two things. You let me walk on by, or I'm gonna walk all over you. I, mm -hmm, girl. Girl. I, I hate that that makes me laugh. God damn it. No. Oh, no, no, no. Right, you know what's even better? It's like... Either he's gonna, either he's gonna bite you with that sword. Either I'm gonna bite you, or uh, either way, yeah. it's gonna get bitten. Either way, it's gonna get bitten. <laughs> I can't remember the either quote. Way, that's close enough. Either way, either way, it's gonna get bitten either way, girl. Mm -mm. It's gonna get bitten either way. It's you don't so, want to test my mighty power with my bite. It's so fucking fruity. My mighty fruity. powers. <laughs> my, you my. are fruity, Doug. Well, that's the, that's the point of the voice. voice. <laughs> that's I the love point it. Of the, that's I'm saying that in a good anything, way. <laughs> anything I could do just makes it pure gold, and it's fucking hilarious. <laughs> I think that's what still one that of my. Sass girlfriend, because I could use some myself. I think that's still one of my personal oh, no. favorite moments. Um, I don't know if it'll be live by the time this goes public, but when we were working on Super Metroid, the fact that I was able to make Doug laugh twice so hard that he had to keep pounding it's... his furniture. Right with with Sassy Ridley. Oh yeah, Sassy, Sassy Ridley, Ridley has to be the funniest. Sassy Ridley has to be the funniest thing, and that was while I had the filter on. <laughs> right, well, just because it's uh oh. Uh -oh. Oops. Okay, well that's well, right. the checkpoints are. are what have you done? Well, because it's just here's this massive hulking space pterodactyl, and then suddenly it's just like. Girl, you girl, how are you gonna expect the Space Federation to respect you if you don't respect your saying? And there's, you know it ain't legit if it ain't Gucci. <laughs> Gucci? Oh my yeah, god. Gucci. Uh, that was like, when we like were they... joking about the fact that, like, to help beat Samus, they would invest in wearing sandals. Yeah. yeah. I think, like, yeah, and... like, if I recall correctly, like, we didn't, like, there, wasn't there, like, a whole entire argument okay, about, like, yeah. spicy mustard and shit? Like, <laughs> Oh, that's right, because, like, someone brought spicy mustard to oh, the company yeah. Potluck, and Ridley wasn't having any of it because, you know, in spite of his fire-breathing ways, he actually has a sensitive stomach. Yes. Aww. I mean, and I was just, I, I, and I was if just I had, making a joke about him eating the baby Metroid as a goddamn sandwich. Yes. Yeah. I mean, I, if, I had the, if I had the room to, I would have totally made, made a joke along the lines of that's literally the secret ingredient behind your super missiles. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can see that. I gotta shoot him. you with spicy mustard, you fucking dick. Dang. He has a dick. Man with Whoa! that much spice, you don't even need the mustard. I mean, it's like, it's like a freaking man with that much skin. spice, you don't even need the mustard. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I guess there's another. Oh, God. Uh, oh, oh yeah, I guess there's another quick thing as I go through another uh, combat encounter here, which I am now realizing that for the most part these actually are kind of optional unless you're going for more uh, crow skulls, in which case a crow skull will uh, spawn and become uh, available for pickup. <laughs> this is a little close course. Let's go back to the shovel. Um, so uh, another thing that uh, James and Hype and I did for the uh, holiday season to get uh, into into the mood was uh, we watched the uh, the latest string of uh, Looney Tunes shorts. Uh, that was for the Halloween special. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, that and Sylvester was easily the, the MVP of that whole thing. Yeah, poor Sylvester. Whoever animated Sylvester. Many glorious faces. 
Oh, whoever animates Sylvester just went all out, and I love it. And honestly, it's really funny, because, like, on the one hand, I appreciate them, like, switching up the variety and having nice. them be paired up with Porky. But it's kind of funny, because I remember when I was younger, I always hated the Porky and Sylvester ones. Because, again, I always felt so bad for Sylvester that Porky never believed him. Yeah, but here it actually worked out. Here I thought it was a lot of fun. Yeah, especially considering that by the end of it, it's like Porky had a reason to sort of believe him, except not really. And then kill the man. Yeah. 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 Unknowingly. Oh yeah, no. Porky got yeah. away with Porky. Porky got away with murder. And that's another thing I'm liking about yeah, these YouTube shorts. They are not shy. They're not sh uh, skittish to shy to uh, you know tackle things like that. I'll fire. As and all because and all because they couldn't. They wouldn't serve continental breakfast. Hey, yeah. I remember there's this. I, of all things, Midnight Train. I remember. All aboard things, the Midnight Train, baby. I, I I just remember of all things, my mom was like so like. She was so dead set on like she needed a re she needed a hotel with a full breakfast and. What the hell? Yeah, get ready for a, a number of royalty free, not not lifted of course, but renditions of royalty free music. Yeah, I mean. Honestly, considering, you know, the time of the recording where they lifted the, uh, you know, the rule about the, uh, about the copyrighted music, oh. plus James' channel isn't monetized, I think we'll be okay. Oh yeah, oh, no, no, we're not, we're, we don't monetize our stuff, we should be fine. More on Let that. Me, you more, guys you, don't, you'll hear, I do. You'll hear more <laughs> of the royalty free, you'll hear more of the royalty free stuff when we get into the spooky woods and the horseback riding, but, uh, <laughs> but, uh, as we continue forward... Like this camera angle is a the dynamic. Speaking oh. of royalty-free music, um, I still I still get a kick out of every every time I think back to uh, the Swan Lake and the way that Paper Mario the Origami King portrayed it. That's <laughs> right, oh, yeah. With the freaking rubber band guy. Where, where, where you literally have to where you where you're fighting a whole bunch of ball, ball, ballet dancing shy guys to the beat to a punk version of Swan Lake. That was such. Now a I want to hear we, it. We, you got to link it to me oh. after this recording. Oh yeah. sure. You've definitely we will made get, me we will curious. Get around to I'll those give games. you that. I, I, after Spooky Month, after we get all of our Spooky yeah. Month stuff out of our system, we should like make plans to figure I, out when also, to do Paper Look Mario. at the I, size of that month. I Whoa. never get Spooky Month out of my out out of me. There's no. Go that's no, kidding that out. no further. This is there. the end for you. Sammy's like Spirit Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> Arrives in a flash, but just never leaves you beat. No, just just the spooky, the spooky time and the holiday. I gotta go check out Spirit Halloween. I think one's either. opened up recently. Yeah, there you go. Nothing. Yeah, I mean, leaves. just imagine what store had to close just for the sake of it. Yeah. Anyway. You have passed the point of no return. Twice have I warned you, Jack. And yet I'm still here. If God you want damn me it, gone, man! You... Excuse me. <laughs> God damn it, man! Oh, yeah, I gotta do it. If you want me gone, you better be prepared to throw me out. My pleasure. Come Yay. catch me, Jack. All right, boss time. I just want Here the I just want the Grim Reaper to have the fucking voice of Greg Eagles. <laughs> Why you gotta go and do this to me, Jack? You drive me cuckoo crazy. Why you so got what is this thing supposed to be exactly? A wraith? I yeah, yeah, that's called a wraith. I think it's a wraith. Let's call yeah. it because I don't know what else to call it. It's I some already... spirit that is. It's some spirit that's protecting us from the ancient treasure. Your weapons are nothing. Oh, nuts! This oh, Halloween is the biggest load of hoo ha I've ever seen. I already get enough shit from Billy and Mandy. What the fuck? <laughs> Billy and already wait, went in. Those dang kids. Wait, oh, are go. we still? Wait, are we still on? Billy already went and hurt my feelings when I talked about how I didn't like a movie. I don't need any more emotional abuse. <laughs> and then the crow goes like, This movie ain't stupid! You're stupid! <laughs> oh, why you got to be in me like that? Oh, oh god, I, imagine I, if Pumpkin Jack had that kind of voice. I oh, should geez. watch, uh... The Horror uh, Man. I will admit, whenever I think of, uh, Jack and Billy Mandy, all I think of is the haunting, like, squelching sound of his head being crushed at the end of that special. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm trying oh, to yeah. think. I I wonder if that Twitter account, the, the Hanna-Barbera Hanna -Barbera fan account, because I know they've lately been posting, like, download files for a bunch of shows yes, that were taken off Grim HBO Max. Of, yes, they did. Was Billy Mandy taken off of HBO Max? Yes. 
Well, my thing was that, like, I was wondering if that account I mentioned had files for that there as well. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Okay, I yes. remember they shared it. I want that shit. I'll send well, it to uh, you then. We, also, for the, also for those wondering, yes, we are totally to blame if that Twitter account eventually gets taken down. No, don't blame us. Blame the Zazlam around them. I, I know that another one... Well, obviously blame him, but it's also a matter of, like, there's some things that are not meant to be outright ex ex exerted to the public. I know. I know the other one that I'm looking forward to watching with you guys because I did download it before we got taken down was Mau Mau. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm definitely yeah. looking forward to that. Um, I know it's not Cartoon Network, but it's something I do need to show Logan. Event. Actually, no, wait, before I even talk about that, there's something Cartoon Network related I do want to show him before Spooky Season's over. Um, over the Garn Wall. Yes. Yeah. Okay. What have you tried? I killed you. I, I killed you. I'm pretty sure it's <laughs> kind of obvious now. You killed me. At it. Good. 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 <laughs> All right, let's go get our reward. The gem's gone. Oops. Oh. Well, I mean, there's a big heap of monolith on right there. No, but the amulet that we want in the center, it's gone. Devil name it. Oh. Ooh, a commendable display, Jack. That buddy of yours is surely proving its worth. I've been toppling brutes his ass since I was a lad. Really? What on earth they they think, kids, where you grew up? Yes, yes. Well, uh, now get a flap on. We're here for a reason. If I'm not mistaken, this mountain was once home to the tribe of powerful sorcerers. They must have left this tablet behind as their last testament. This is it? I came all this way for a big rock with some words on it? Is that a tablet or an obelisk? Nope, it's a diary. Hmm. Darkest hours of man, championishly summoned... Could you pick up the pace? Did you leave your glasses back in the nest or something? Ah, uh, yes, I see now. The amulet of final ember. <laughs> Just say it makes me feel powerful. The last line is unreadable, but man's champion needs this amulet to muster the power to dispel the devil's curse. Rocks and jewelry. This has turned out to be a pretty lame job. Ah, uh, so I might be missing something, but where's this amulet supposed to be? Why, it's down here. Um, shit. <laughs> I see your problem. Oh, do ya? <laughs> do ya? Oh, do ya? Where is the blasted thing? Oh, ah. Uh, the sword says. Jordy, how about you oh, be the sword? Okay, <laughs> it's already gone and righty so. What the beep is that? Talking birds and now talking swords. Man, this world's weird. I must say this is very peculiar. You know, I'm gonna give it a different voice. In okay. case you hadn't noticed, this place is pretty lousy for magic stuff. No wonder people have been tripping over themselves to swipe that amulet. I mean, come on! And you, you got a lot to answer for, you charlatan. Oh, well, I never, how dare you, you, you oversized butter knife. <gasps> That's my grandma you're talking about. Oh, anyway. <gasps> if you call that mess of a fight I just saw commandable, I thoroughly question your tutelage. I'm so sorry, I can't talk today. You god face, who are you? I'm Jack, and I like you already. Wait, what? <laughs> How long you been around these parts? <laughs> we'll get used to me. If you're going to fight, you will need to learn to do it right. I will teach you. No oh. weapon. Wait, did you two did you two miss the part where this thing said you, we were too late? Someone took the amulet. Who? 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 Take it easy, Jesus! No need Sorry. to yell the leather off my handle. Excuse me. Your friend came came and took the amulet. I assume you distracted that awful phantom so he could get it here ahead of you. Curses! The wizard did it. A friend? And you know what, Sammy? I want to hear you try to be the big evil wizard. Why is it a female? I don't know. It's it's like it's, it's very a high, high pitched. It has a high pitched like <laughs> kind of voice, but it's it's gender. The gender is never specified. I don't think. Greetings. I'll do. Ah. Yes, that chap. Right there. I'm. 
guessing you don't know each other. Well, shit. Oh, I know more than enough now. So, you are the pariah. The champion that the devil himself has sent for me. Frankly, I'm disappointed. Show yourself, you coward. I already fucking am. Yeah, she's right there. I don't think so. Oh, like I'm oh, already man. long gone. <gasps> I only stuck around to study your fight with my associate in the mines. Very enlightening. You really do put on a show. I want to make sure it's not oh. just me, but are those particles supposed to be floating around them? Yeah, I yeah. think so. Yeah, they are. They are. They, don't worry. They, again, this is not emulated. This is on the Steam version, so that's how it should be looking. I'll be more than happy to give you an encore when I rip that face off your skull. And I'll pry the amulet from your cold, dead hands. We'll see about that. For now, this babble requires further study to access its power. This babble, babble, well, perhaps you should join me. We can study it together and break this piffling little curse. This guy really gives me the creeps. He left an innocent spirit to be completely destroyed just to watch you fight. I may be evil. Yeah, I may work for the devil, but you, sir, are a dick. I. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> da -da -da. He's dead. Get the sensor in. What? <laughs> Just tackle him. I like that he has a moral compass where he's like, I may be working for the devil and I may be evil, but you are fucked up. Yeah. <sighs> Consider my proposal. There's so much I, so much more I want to study about you. Jack. <gasps> That's it. He's just got personal, apparently. I just love the idea of, like, after, after all this fire and all this, like, fighting, just... Jack. Yep. Said my name. Time to die. <laughs> she, knows <laughs> too, she knows too much. Nobody must her. know my name. Well, hopefully you don't know what my middle name is. Otherwise, I'd really so, uh, have to kill him. Is it... Is it What's up? I was in the show because Isn't it the... The... That's too much. <laughs> That's it. I'm slaughtering you. Anyway, we get a cool yeah. levitating sword. That's a little bit shattered at the given moment, but I mean, it's still it's still viable. We'll watch this thing, and I think we'll take a Master break after that. So you're already like two, one third of the way done. Yep. Upon reaching the tablet of the heart of the mountain, Jack bitterly discovers that he is a loser. A oh, too late. Sorry. Wizard, humanity's champion, now possesses a powerful amulet. <gasps> One step closer to usurping the devil's rule over the world and breaking the curse. But there is still hope for our harrowing heroes. How? Jack's epic duel with the wizard's indentured spirit catches the attention of a magical sword. Hello. Hello, to teach him greater hello, hello. Boy, how you hello. doing, always in. Much for sticking to put it. <laughs> God, if you imagine if the sword literally was just just did speak in like those uh ch those chiseled fairies from the medieval. <laughs> oh right. Oh the fairy God. Light. I would not mm. do well with that kind of voice. Yes, oh, look at the filthy scum. So yeah, uh, we're gonna take we're gonna take a little break here just because it's already about an hour. Unless people want, do you guys want me to try one more level? You guys, I, I don't mind breaking. Actually, yeah, I need a break because I haven't eaten dinner yet. And that's fair. Ah, so, all right. We're about one third, but I'll say uh, this is our new sword. Using uh, the cool thing is that the hilt stays in place. Uh, we just uh, work with the blade's shards as they fly around. So it's 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 pretty decent for uh, AOE attacks and uh, again range. But uh, more on this spooky swamp in the next time. Till then, sweet dreams. Goodbye. See you all next time. Yeah.